The FBI is leading this investigation, this ongoing investigation. As the Attorney General stated earlier today, the FBI is continuing its investigation of this incident as an assassination attempt upon the former president. Cellular data shows that the subject was in the vicinity of the golf course roughly 12 hours before the engagement with the United States Secret Service. Our investigative teams conducted a neighborhood canvas in an effort to collect and obtain relevant video footage. The subject had an active online presence and we are going through what he posted and any searches he conducted online. In addition, we're going through media reports and public statements he made that he wanted to recruit Afghan soldiers and others to fight for Ukraine. In 2002, as the United States Attorney uh, mentioned, the subject was charged and convicted in North Carolina for possession of a weapon of mass destruction. Law enforcement checks also revealed that from 1997 to 2010, the subject had numerous felony charges for stolen goods. I can also share with you that he was the subject of a previously closed 2019 tip to the FBI where it was alleged he was a felon in possession of a firearm. In following up on the tip, the alleged complainant interviewed was interviewed and did not verify, I repeat, did not verify providing the initial information. The FBI passed that information to local law enforcement in Honolulu.